Welcome to History Uncovered, where we delve into the stories and events that have shaped our world. If you're a fan of history and love learning about the people and events that have shaped our world, then be sure to hit that subscribe button below. We release new videos every day so you'll always have something new to discover. By subscribing, you'll be the first to know when our latest episodes are released, and you'll be supporting us in our mission to bring fascinating stories from the past to a wider audience. In this episode, we are going to explore the life of Boudicca, the courageous and fierce warrior queen who led a revolt against the Roman Empire in ancient Britain. Boudicca was the queen of the Iceni tribe, a Celtic people who lived in what is now modern-day Norfolk, England. The Iceni were a powerful and independent tribe, known for their ironworking and intricate artistic designs. Boudicca was married to Prasutagus, the king of the Iceni, and together they had two daughters. In 43 AD, the Roman Empire, under the command of Emperor Claudius, launched an invasion of Britain. The Romans were known for their efficient military and advanced infrastructure, which enabled them to conquer large territories across the known world. The invasion of Britain was a strategic move aimed at subduing the Celtic tribes and incorporating the valuable resources of the island into the Roman Empire. Initially, Prasutagus and the Iceni chose to cooperate with the Romans in order to protect their people and preserve their way of life. Prasutagus made a treaty with the Romans, agreeing to pay tribute and allow them to rule in exchange for retaining his position as king. The Romans, for their part, were willing to compromise and work with the Iceni, recognizing the strategic value of their cooperation. However, when Prasutagus died in 60 AD, the situation changed dramatically. In his will, he left his kingdom to be jointly ruled by his daughters and the Roman emperor, Nero. But the Romans, seeing an opportunity to consolidate power, decided to disregard the king's wishes and instead annex the Iceni territory outright. Roman soldiers marched into the Iceni lands, brutally seizing their property and assets. What happened next would become a turning point in British history. Boudicca, now a widow, and her daughters were subjected to horrific abuse by the Roman soldiers. Enraged by the violation of her family and the usurpation of her people's land, Boudicca vowed to take revenge against the invaders. She gathered her forces and reached out to other tribes, urging them to join her in a revolt against the Roman Empire. Boudicca's call to arms resonated with the oppressed tribes across Britain. The Trinovans, another powerful tribe that had been mistreated by the Romans, joined Boudicca's cause, and soon other tribes followed suit. In 60 or 61 AD, Boudicca led a massive army of British warriors against the Roman occupiers, seeking retribution for the crimes committed against her people. The first target of Boudicca's revolt was the Roman town of Camulodunum, now known as Colchester. The town was a symbol of Roman oppression, built on the sacred land of the Trinovans and the site of a temple dedicated to the Emperor Claudius. Boudicca's army, composed of fierce warriors and skilled charioteers, attacked the town and utterly destroyed it. The Romans were caught off guard as they had underestimated the strength and determination of the British tribes. Following the victory at Camulodunum, Boudicca's forces moved on to the Roman cities of Londinium, now known as London, and Verulamium, modern-day St. Albans. The warrior queen's army left a trail of devastation in their wake as they burned the cities to the ground and slaughtered the inhabitants. Historians estimate that as many as 70,000 Romans and their allies were killed during Boudicca's revolt. The Roman governor of Britain, Gaius Suetonius Paulinus, was occupied with military campaigns in present-day Wales at the onset of the revolt. When news of Boudicca's victories reached him, he realized the gravity of the situation and quickly marched his legions back towards the heart of the rebellion. Despite the initial successes, Boudicca's forces were vastly outnumbered by the Roman legions. Suetonius Paulinus, an experienced military strategist, chose a narrow gorge as the site for the final confrontation. This location prevented Boudicca's army from utilizing their full numbers and the mobility of their chariots, while allowing the Roman soldiers to use their superior discipline and organization to full advantage. The Battle of Waddling Street, as it came to be known, was a brutal and bloody clash. 
Boudicca's warriors fought with unwavering courage and determination, but the disciplined Roman soldiers, armed with their iconic gladii and protected by their rectangular scutum shields, were relentless. The British tribes were ultimately outmatched, and the battle ended in a decisive victory for the Romans. Though the exact circumstances of Boudicca's death remain shrouded in mystery, it is believed that she took her own life in the aftermath of the battle to avoid being captured by the Romans. Her story, however, lived on, becoming a symbol of resistance and freedom for the people of Britain and an enduring inspiration to those who fight against tyranny and oppression. Boudicca's revolt had far-reaching consequences for the Roman Empire. Although they eventually defeated the uprising, the Romans were forced to recognize the importance of respecting and accommodating the customs and traditions of the native peoples under their rule. After the revolt, the Romans changed their approach to governing Britain, taking a more collaborative and less brutal approach to their occupation. In the centuries that followed, Boudicca became a legendary figure in British history, and her story was passed down through generations, immortalized in poems, songs, and art. In the 19th century, a bronze statue of Boudicca and her daughters was commissioned by Prince Albert and unveiled on the Bank of the Thames in London, a testament to the enduring legacy of the warrior queen. Boudicca's tale is not only an important part of British history, but a powerful reminder of the strength and resilience of the human spirit. Her courage and defiance in the face of seemingly insurmountable odds have resonated with generations of people seeking justice and freedom. As we conclude this episode, we are left with a vivid image of Boudicca, standing tall in her chariot, her fiery red hair flowing in the wind, and her piercing eyes gazing into the distance, determined to defend her people and their way of life against the invaders who sought to destroy them. Thank you for watching this episode of History Uncovered. If you have ideas of what we should make a video about next let us know in the comment section. If you found this video informative and engaging, please like and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating stories from the past. And don't forget to ring the bell for notifications so that you never miss a new video.